I love these spicy concepts about hypertension and volume status in CKD in stage kidney disease patients. Number 1. Almost all stable CKD or end-stage kidney disease patients are volume overloaded until proven otherwise. Number 2. Estimated dry weight is often not true and is frequently way over the actual dry weight. Number 3. The concept of challenging the dry weight is not an easy job and only few providers are capable of achieving this goal. In other words, it's easier said than done. Number four, in young age, blood vessels are very expansile and can accommodate up to five liters of extra fluid without developing signs of extravascular volume overload, example, lower extremity edema or pulmonary edema. Those patients often present with severe, uncontrolled hypertension and frequently on multiple blood pressure medications. Most, but not all of it, is masked volume. And finally, a common question. List the top five causes of hypertension in patients with CKD or end-stage kidney disease. Number one, intravascular volume overload or increased intravascular fluid. This is the most common cause, especially in PD patients, and this is a sweet board question. Number two, essential or primary hypertension. Number three, renalase deficiency. Look it up. Kidney secretes renalase enzyme, which normally breaks down renin. In kidney impairment, no renalase means high renin activation of the RAS system, leading to worsening of hypertension. Number four, digoxin-like substances. As uremic-like substances, if you will, we don't measure those, but they have a positive enotropic effect on the heart, worsening hypertension. Number five, secondary causes as renal-associated vasculitis or ADPKD, etc. Thanks. Talk soon.